Hello everyone, welcome back to Jlixer. So today, I'll be teaching you how you can fix your Helios Volcano. So, uh, I've seen a lot of Facebook posts about Helios Volcano's ring breaking. Like, here are some symptoms. Sometimes, uh, you can't, you just can't feel the spring, like, spring loaded. It's just free spinning, but, uh, it stops at this part. Next is that it's stuck on limit break mode, so you can't put, like, put it back on its regular mode. And finally, uh, when you try to lock it back, it just, uh, it doesn't, like, go back to, uh, to the limit break in normal mode, like, it's just, it, there's a spring loaded, but, uh, you can't lock it back to normal mode, so it's just a bound ring like this, you can put it back to its normal mode. So, uh, there are a lot more symptoms that you gotta look out for, I haven't discovered all of them yet, so I'll try to keep up. So, yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So first off, you gotta uh, unscrew these parts, these parts. Uh, I prefer using a big flat, I mean not flat head, Phillips head screwdriver, but you can also use a small, like small Phillips head if you're comfortable with this. Okay, now unscrew. Make sure to be careful because there's a lot of springs in the limit break. Uh, mechanism so maybe a lot of springs might jump up and then you got and then just just you got to find a lot of small parts so make sure to put the walls uh walls near where you're uh opening your helios volcano ring because it will probably break i mean like uh lose your uh you know parts Okay, next step is to pull, like slowly pull it away from each other. Make sure that it won't jump or something. Now check if your parts are uh, complete. I'll lay everything up and then I'll tell you what like what parts are in the Helios Volcano Ring so that you can see if you have any missing parts. So these are all the parts in Helios Volcano. First is the outer Helios Volcano Ring. Make sure that this peg right here, this standing pole, isn't broken. But it's okay if it's broken. Uh, make sure you find the debris like the broken piece and then just put super glue on it and it will be all fixed Next is the outer Helios volcano ring make sure that this part right here Isn't broken this part right here. Although it's okay if it's broken just put mighty band on it or any uh, sticky stuff so that like uh, it will just uh, stay together but I prefer using mighty band because it's really strong next is the inner chip holder so uh, make sure that it's not broken it's not like uh, you when you shake it you won't hear a sound so yeah next is the limit break tank this is the limit break button where like the disc uh, you put and then when it touches this button the uh, limit break starts next is the spring uh, make sure that this spring is intact and not jumbled up next is this very tiny little spring this is one of the more like um, most important spring in the limit break Helios volcano so I'll tell you why after I assemble it back in steps I mean first get your outer ring and then get your big spring 
get your big spring and then put this circle right here this circle here in the hole right here uh, it doesn't have to be a uh, this spray you can always use this part but yeah next is get your helios outer ring and then put this circle this other part this other part through this uh you know okay, right here. So, let me just right here. and then just uh place it inside and fill it it's in the like, same thing so before you uh put like you play around with it uh put the limit break peg inside this part this certain this uh box right here this should be the box right this part right here put the limit break peg inside this box but uh after you put the limit break peg put get this small uh, spring get this small spring and then put it in this pole right here there should be a pole yeah there there put the spring inside this pole and then uh but first put the peg and then the pole i mean the spring next uh because but you can just put it back together but i prefer putting the peg first and then the spring so there we go oops i i did a little messy so i'll put it back together first because like there's a lot of springs so uh, it's not my fault so now it's back together so now it's back together uh put get the inner chip core holder and then place it inside the center make sure that these parts right here these parts align with these parts so now let us put it back together also uh sometimes uh, it won't sink in because it's on the wrong side so if it won't sink in in the first part turn it and then put it on the like the bottom side so let me try oh it was first on the first uh, first part now that you hear a click uh, make sure you like put it back in make sure that it's all sink in and flat next put back your screws like put your screws back in because if you don't like uh, perhaps that when you limit break it like test limit break uh, all the parts will just fly away and then you'll never see it again and then just waste another uh, 200 pesos for another limit break being made. Next, final one. There we go. Here, let me uh, test it if it actually works. There, it locks in. Now, for the limit break. Very good. So, if this video helped you, make sure to drop a like and then comment your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, if you have another problem or something with other limit break Beyblades, like uh, Burn Hyperion or Hyperion Burn, uh, make sure to drop it in the comments because I'll be making a how to fix Super Hyperion soon. So, I mean, not Super Hyperion, a uh, Burn Hyper Hyperion Burn. So, yeah. Uh, please subscribe to Jlixer. Road to 500 subscribers. So, yeah, that's about it. Jlixer out.